Hi there, my name is Chris, a self-taught web developer, and in this week's video I'm going to go through my first portfolio project, um, and actually it was the first website I ever created, um, sort of back in, I think the first commit I was just having a look was November 2020, um, and by that point I'd be learning HTML, CSS, and as you can see a little bit of JavaScript um, sort of for about six months or so. Um, so yeah, it's still up and running, it's still live on GitHub pages here. And as you can see, the, the repo itself is really quite simple. It's just got, you know, a script, a HTML file, styles for CSS. Um, at that point, I was using SCSS, so sort of a, a superset of it. Um, images and icons, and, and, that, and that was it. It was really quite a simple sort of format and, and structure. Um, and as you'll see, it's also quite a simple website itself. So let's open it up and have a look. Um, so, yeah. Upon load, we can see I've got a big sort of hero banner uh, image that I actually took a photo. This is my laptop that I'm currently recording on, uh, a little cup of coffee, espresso, and a, and a plant, which I think is currently in our kitchen. Um, but, you know, I've got some icons for email address, LinkedIn, and, and GitHub. Um, and as you'll see, these are sort of used throughout. And we've got a little down arrow button animation that's hovering at the moment. And if I click to go down, we then come down to the sort of the about section. And here you can see actually the, the navigation menu obviously sort of slides up up until that certain point and then it is static here or, or sticky. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably with a bit of JavaScript, but we can check the code later as to how I did that. Um, you'll see here's my, my photo from my previous job, sort of working in uh, business travel, hence the suit. Um, but yeah, obviously put on my web developer couple of projects, my technical skills, um, and then obviously my contact details as well at the bottom, which I already had at the top. So as we can see, if I scroll down, you can see these these cards actually load in with the animate on scroll library. Um, so by that point, I was learning a little bit of sort of how to make websites sort of move a little bit and, and function, um, but it was really quite basic. Um, and as you can see, actually, this portfolio site I'm currently on was my first project um, and that's why I was sort of proud to put it there um, but in reality I guess I, ha I had nothing else as I was, as I was building it um, so yeah this site was built with HTML and CSS um, or actually SAS in the end um, and then the next one was a website redesign for a sort of family business so that was built with bootstrap so the CSS um, framework and JavaScript as well a little bit of JavaScript um, and unfortunately these aren't live anymore they were hosted on Netlify um, and you can see at the bottom left hand corner I've actually got sort of a, a unique um, or custom Netlify domain name URL um, which I think is really good to actually have if you can if you can nab it so no one had hats dash for dash her uh, at Netlify dot app so yeah I created that for this so if anyone did want to go off and see that site they could do um, and of course here's the, the code repo as well for that um, and I think just to show you the setup for each of these, um, this, yeah, I just got had the, the title, it was a redesign of an existing site, here's the existing site, and then here was my site, um, and that's all I had in the in the readme. Uh, obviously now it's sort of a little bit more complex, um, I'd have a lot more information basically um, if I was to do it again, but yeah, here's what I had anyway. So the next ones were a calculator app, which was HTML, CSS, and just JavaScript. Um, and you might recognize this because that's from Web Dev Simplified's YouTube video um, where he sort of built a, a JavaScript calculator. So it's kind of, yeah, taken from there. Um, I don't think I changed much of the code. I was sort of, yeah, just learning JavaScript at the time. Um, and obviously wanted a project that had some JavaScript as my, my previous ones didn't really have much at all. Uh, I think this just had a little bit for some probably very simple animation or uh, it was maybe the navigation bar, but yeah, not much else. Um, and then the next one I did was a blog site, um, which was built with HTML and Tailwind this time, sort of the CSS framework. So it's actually the only site I've used Tailwind with. Um, I found it quite intuitive. It, it was nice to work with, but for some reason I do just prefer um, vanilla sort of CSS or SCSS um, or sort of these days styled components as well, um, which obviously you sort of need to learn CSS um, to be able to write that. So but yeah, Tailwind was, was nice to work with and actually this had a few different pages and sort of a blog, I guess. So it was a blog site, I, I called it. Um, obviously NFT of the week as they were up and coming. Was it, I guess this was uh, 2020 or maybe early last year in 2021. So, um, you know, they were sort of a new thing and I was, I was learning a bit about them um, and obviously sort of the whole 
sort of blockchain technology is quite interesting being a developer now um but yeah just to create a bit a simple website that i could put on my portfolio um the next one was this book list, which also you might recognize from Traversia Media's, I think it's object-oriented programming as JavaScript tutorial um, or simple CRUD app here. Again, that was just built with Bootstrap and JavaScript. So really quite simple functionality. Um, and then the last one was actually this JavaScript game, which I created. Um, so this actually is my project. Uh, it's my first one that I actually created sort of where you have a blank JS file and you think, what shall I write? Um, and this is what I came up with in the end. Um, so I was, I was quite happy with how it, it turned out, actually. And I believe it's still live um, because it's, it's currently on my sort of new portfolio, which I'm starting to create in Next.js. Um, but yeah, this site was, I think it says, built with yeah, JavaScript. It's just HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then we're using the leaflet.js mapping library. Um, and then Mapbox provides the, the maps itself, I think, um, with the light and dark mode. So I can show you that over here. We've got a little toggle and you can see the map updates as well as the sort of the rest of the UI. Um, so it's not that fun game, I'll, I'll be honest. If I click start, we just need to find where Big Ben is. We've got the coordinates. We've got to find Big Ben on this map, so I'm just going to click over here, and it says now in an alert, close two decimal places. If I click OK, um, obviously you can click again, and it will show you where you clicked each time. And then if I show answer, it will pop up where Big Ben is located on the map. Um, obviously you can sort of play again, um, and the whole thing re-renders. And there's a few different sort of London points of interest and locations that I've got basically just in an array. That's randomly sorting them and basically checking are these coordinates um, close to where you've clicked on the map. So I'm obviously registering those uh, as an on-click event. Um, but yeah, it was vanilla JavaScript and it was really, really good to, um, or certainly felt good to, to create this basically. Um, and that was when I really found that maybe JavaScript was clicking for me. Um, I was obviously been learning it for a little while up to that point. Um, but yeah, I was proud to, to put that in my portfolio. Um, and then ultimately the, the skills here, uh, as you can see, there's a number of different skills. And I guess I had a few of them. I had HTML by that point, CSS with the obviously little animation there. Uh, JavaScript I was learning. Um, SAS that I was using now, Bootstrap and Tailwind. Um, but yeah, TypeScript, React and Jest were sort of wish list items that I wanted to learn and obviously have gone on since too. Um, and actually use TypeScript and React uh, sort of day to day in my role now as a, as a junior full stack developer. Um, but yeah, just the, the testing library was something else that I wanted um, to learn and, and that's what I did actually learn in the end using it um, to sort of yeah, create custom tests as I was doing some sort of JavaScript coding challenges and, and little problems. Um, so I have a repo for those. I think it's literally called TypeScript or, or JavaScript Jest Catters, something like that. Um, and then at the bottom, yeah, the footers connect with me. So again, the same email, LinkedIn and GitHub. Um, and yeah, that was what, what I had on my CV as a portfolio as I was sort of applying for jobs as my, my first web developer job um, or software developer, how you want to call it. Um, and I think, yeah, in the end, I don't know if anyone actually saw it, it was never mentioned, but I had a lot of fun creating this site. Um, and obviously, I'll leave it up, uh, and the, the link will be below in the description if you want to sort of have a look at either the site or the source code as well. Um, I'll, I'll put it you know, completely open source. You can have a look. Feel free to, to clone the site um, or take bits of inspiration if you want it on your, on your web development portfolio as well. So, yeah, I think that's it for this week. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and I'll see you in the next one.